Hey, what's up, my little tap tiles? How y'all doing today? Well, if you are Meg the Stallion's bodyguard, baby, you are missing in action. What am I talking about? New development in the Meg the Stallion Tory Lane's case. This case has had so many twists and turns, but the latest one and most damaging one is Meg's bodyguard, Justin is completely missing and nobody can locate him y'all let's get into the details because meg's attorney spoke directly directly to i think this was broken by the shade room y'all this is not even funny anymore and i do want to say one thing before we get into why he's missing and how this is bad and where they think he is I don't know, it's Houston, it's Jay Prince, I'm just saying. I actually blame the prosecutor, and just hear me out. I blame the prosecutor for not being culturally intelligent. I blame the prosecutor for thinking Kelsey, a girl that's been warring with Meg on Twitter, I don't care whether you think Kelsey's right, wrong, Meg's right, wrong, they've been going at it since the shooting. They cannot stand each other. On top of that, Kelsey, is both her, uh, was married and has a baby to a 5101 executive, and I think he might own a little bit of the record company too. Who is that? 5101 is the record company that Megan is currently in a dispute with over her contract. Kelsey's money, her husband's money, is tied to Meg, and I would think also tied to making let Meg look bad. On top of that, they were even in court. So how did you think that you were going to get Kelsey and she was going to be a star witness when she got umpteen million reasons not to like Meg and umpteen million reasons to make sure that she doesn't do good and get her back? On top of that, they literally in court, the defense attorney read a, a lyric from Kelsey's song talking about, you know, busting back or whatever. And she was like, read the lyric. And he read it what's that say you read it. read it again what's that say ask him to read it four times with a smirk on his face and a smirk on her face and then when they were like so did you write that she was like mm, you know how rap lyrics are then turned her head and mouthed it to her husband in the courtroom this is an all the court documentation you guys can verify why is that also showing that you don't have any uh, uh, cultural intelligence or didn't even try to have cultural intelligence? Well, for a couple of things. One, if the prosecutor had even known the lyrics or asked for research or even Googled the lyrics while she was talking, you would see in that song, Kelsey was saying she didn't shoot Meg, but the defense attorney only read the lyrics that, may, that might lead her to believe that she shot Meg. On top of that, and we got to talk about the biggest on top of that, before we get into this, right? Um, uh, listen, on top of that, we need to take this into the count, okay? Woo! Listen, and this is the biggest thing, and I'm just saying. Houston, the J. Prince family, J. Prince is in 1501 with Crawford, the record label that's suing Meg, for millions. Do I need to say any more? And let me just say this also. It's the last thing I'm going to say before we get into this report, right? How did you not realize, this is the prosecutor, that a case involving a huge record label that includes Jay Prince and has so many moving parts to this, they really treated this like they were some no-name struggle rappers. No, listen, no shade to struggle rappers. Your time gonna come. Keep grinding, keep grinding, right? They had, but I'm just saying the prosecutors had no idea what they were dealing with and who they were dealing with. And this is the last thing I say. I don't keep saying the last thing before I get into this article. Y'all, we keep dragging Kelsey for her being like, um, mm, changing her story, doing all this stuff. Maybe Kelsey actually was intimidated. I'm not joking. Because now the bodyguard's missing and they can't find her. They said Megan's bodyguard, Justin Edison, is now considered a missing person. I repeat, he is not just playing hiding. He is being considered a missing person. He was supposed to testify yesterday. He's the sole reason Tory Lanez got charged. He went to Tory's house to get Megan's things. He claimed Tory confessed that he shot Meg. And now he's missing out of nowhere. 
Yeah, okay. Y'all, let's get into this. Hold on, because this is actually getting a little bit scary. And all I got to say is RIP takeoff. If you know, you know. Hold on. All right, so anyway, let's just get into this mess, all right? Met the Stallion's former bodyguard goes missing before scheduled testimony. He is considered a missing person officially, okay? They said it's a week of shocking testimony wrapped up in the Tory Lanez assault trial. The Shade Room has exclusively learned that Meg Thee Stallion's former bodyguard, who was also scheduled to testify on Friday, Justin Edison, cannot be located. Meg's attorney, Alex Spiro, spoke exclusively to the Shade Room and said, we recently learned that Justin Edison went missing right before he was scheduled to appear in court. We're also told that LAPD is currently looking into his disappearance and welcome any information about his whereabouts. Another source confirmed that Justin's attorney hasn't heard from him since Thursday. We're also told that Justin has key information about the night of the shooting. Justin went to go get Megan's stuff. Justin talked to Tori. Tori confessed to Justin. This was the key witness. Justin hasn't uploaded any pics to his IG account since December 8th, nor does he currently have any stories posted to his page. It's unclear if he's had any contact with family or any friends since Thursday. Y'all, if anybody has any information, please let it be known. But y'all, when are we going to talk about this? This is insane what's going on in the Megan Desalia case. And yes, I do look at the prosecutors, the DAs. Let's think about this. The Harvey Weinstein case is going on at the same time. It is being botched completely. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. I'm not going to get into it too much because we're talking about Meg. But that is going on si concurrently, simultaneously, and boom, it's being botched. The guy from that 70s show, Danny Masterman, when he was um, uh, uh, supposed to be convicted of being a serial R-word, there was all this testimony. They got a mistrial. At this point, they need to fire the DA. You are incompetent. You don't know what you're doing. Just hear me out. Whether you are pro-Meg or pro-Tory, this case has been an ish show. They haven't gotten statements. They haven't done this. They haven't got that. Tory's lawyers embarrassed them yesterday. But what is going on with the district attorney's office? Not only that, the fact that they treated this case like it was some unknown struggle rappers. If this was Taylor Swift, that had gotten bang bang by Harry Styles, can you imagine the way they would have everything locked up? And I don't just mean media coverage. I'm talking about the DA making sure their, their star witness was in protection making sure that look at what they did with Jesse Small, Smollett case when he was there. They had the witnesses in a hotel room under protection being like, you guys aren't going anywhere and you guys aren't disappearing either. The fact that they treated these people like these were no name celebrities and didn't know that these were huge superstars, but also that there were other things going on at play, right? The fact that the Prince family is involved with the big case and all the stuff and what happened with Takeoff. And again, I'm not saying anyone's involved. I'm just saying the fact that they didn't put two and two together and realize there's some high stakes going on. These people are big players, all of them. And that there needs to be some type of protection because maybe witnesses can be paid off. Maybe witnesses can be intimidated. They literally treated it like it was just two people off the street having a dispute and being like, for what? They don't got any power. They have met the DA and I feel so sorry for Meg. I believe Meg's telling the truth, right? Does that mean I think she's a great person? Does that mean I think she's a great friend? That's a conversation for a different thing. A lot of things came out in the trial, but the one thing that I never lost sight of is you were shot. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, whoever, you were shot in cold blood. There were only two people that could have did it, right? Where are they? Let's talk about the driver. Cause a lot of y'all was like, well, what about the driver? Yeah, what about the driver? The driver's missing, right? just like Justin's missing. And before people go and say, oh, well, the Justin's missing because he didn't want to disappoint Meg because he was going to go up there and tell the truth. Shut up, shut up. Tell your mom or your daddy to go read you another bedtime story. The driver who worked for Tori, they can't locate him at all. 
That's convenient because he could have actually said under oath who shot. He worked for Tory. I would think that the driver that worked for Tory would have no problem actually saying, yep, Meg did it. But he went mysteriously missing. The bodyguard that Tory confessed to, that's what the bodyguard's saying, now mysteriously missing. What y'all gonna say? He went missing because of Meg, but then why is the driver missing? And we all know that Tory has ways to get into the man that you to get to the man that used to be the driver. Why is he missing? Everybody that can corroborate the fact that Tory did something has gone missing. Now, who didn't go missing? Kelsey. But I'll tell you what went missing. Her GD mine on trial went missing to the point of she basically perjured herself. We'll see if they bring up perjury charges. And had the lawyer, uh, Tory's lawyer, not been so stupid and cocky and trying to get in, right? They probably would have got away with it. Tory, Kelsey went on tape and said that Tory said, yo, I want to offer you something. But Sean Hawley, my lawyer, said I have to phrase it a different way. You know, Sean Hawley, she's used to representing Titans. I know she looked at Tori's little butt and was like, boy, don't make me knock that lace from off your head. She was, she literally got off the case and said, yeah, I'm not working this case anymore. You're too stupid. Kelsey's up there acting like she got amnesia, but then remember what the nail art on ne Meg's nails look like, right? With the, what perfume Meg was wearing. The way Meg looked to the side and wanted nachos, but then I'm like, okay, so what happened in the car? She's like, hmm, I don't really remember hearing gunshots. She was so close to the gun that there was uh, gunpowder on her. And I know now, which Kelsey getting on the trial was horrible for Meg until yesterday, but also good at the same time. Because I realized every incel misogynist, everybody got mommy issues, every girl that like, you know, thinks Megan doesn't deserve whatever. And they're like, you know, the patriarchy princesses, they're yelling for Meg. Now they, Kelsey, by her testimony, gave, right? Gave everybody somebody new to hate. They got a new woman to hate. It's not Meg anymore. She actually was shot. Remember how for two years, y'all gonna feel real stupid when Meg gets on that trial and she's exposed for lying about gunshots. Remember the fake medical reports? Remember all this, right? Kelsey gets on the stand, embarrasses herself to the point that the judge is sick of her. She then, then Megan, right, is no longer person enemy number one. None of these same people that said Megan was a liar, it never happened, she imagined all this, and she just wanna see a black man do bad. Now all of a sudden, Kelsey is public enemy number one. People either like, girl, you got paid off, or two, girl, it was you. But the one thing I wanna to say to the people that said it has to be Kelsey, you really think that Tory Lanez, after Kelsey confessed to the prosecutor that he shot her, he shot Meg, and Tori knows she said that because in discovery, they had to share that evidence. So Tori knows and Tori knows what's on Kelsey's tape. Tori Lanes is protecting a woman that literally tried to frame him with the police. Protecting a woman that tried to frame him with the police, according to Tori. And now he's protecting and going out and won't just come right out and say it was Kelsey. Man, y'all living in a dream world. I do want to say there is something very wrong and something very dangerous going on. And this is beyond, oh, who hates Meg? But again, at the end of the day, the only people that we can blame, honestly, is the district attorney. You should have got sworn depositions. You should have gotten statements. You should have did all this stuff. You should have had the witnesses under protection. You should have known what you were dealing with. You should have shoulda shoulda coulda uh 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 coulda 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 y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments but honestly let's pray justin is safe let's pray the driver is safe let's pray everybody in this case even kelsey now i'm like baby was kelsey um intimidated but then i keep going back to no she's just stupid anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later